Okay, good morning. So here we are bundled up because it's a little nippy today. What's the temperature this morning? It's 44 degrees an hour ago. 44 degrees an hour ago. All right, and I just realized I forgot the selfie stick, <laughs> which was pretty high up on my list for bringing along because today we are finally on our way to get dental work in Mexico. Woohoo! Viva Mexico! Yeah, so we're uh, out here in, on BLM land, actually in California. We crossed over from Arizona to California. And now we're heading to Mexico. So it's very confusing in terms of the time zones. <laughs> Gotta keep a close eye because, you know, your cell phone switches automatically. Uh, but his old fashioned watch, luckily, where is it? There we go. That does not, so that's good, because you have to be sure you're clarifying which time zone you're talking about, because it's winter and Arizona is now on mountain time. In the summer, it would be the same as Pacific Daylight Savings Time, but be sure you check the time situation. That's one thing. And yeah, we're on our way. Uh, there is a parking lot right before the border crossing so we will park the car there and then walk across probably not okay to be filming right at the border i've uh, gotten into trouble with that when i went from spain to andorra and decided to, i should take photos they came on the bus and made me erase them that was kind of uh, serious yeah and i'm wondering you know who's trying to infiltrate andorra but okay <laughs> you never know got it Watch out for that national security stuff. So, we will uh, be back with more of a report later on. But first, coffee. Dr. Rubio's office. You're all right, honey? in the parking lot at 245 
The border presently closes at 3 p.m. Arizona time because of the pandemic. There were a lot of cars here this morning. That was all full. Half of that is handicapped parking. So you get closer to the uh, border crossing and they're all gone. That's kind of crazy that many handicapped spots and they're all gone. There's the crossing and there's a piece of the wall. And here is Kevin. Kevin! Hi. Tell us about your experience at Dr. Rubio's. Well, this ginormous parking lot right at the border is on the Quechan Indian Reservation. They have a casino up the road here, but uh, because it's their parking lot, they charge you $6 to park here for the day. For a car. For a car. And it looks like they're putting in a RV campground up there at the far end. So you can come here and stay and hop back and forth over the border, I guess, all winter. And over here is the lovely edge. And over here is an enormous ugly wall made out of steel. I can't help thinking how many houses or ships or something could have been built with all that metal. And that's the border crossing right at the end of the wall on the right hand end. Mm -hmm. And uh, just walk from here to the border and walked across. Right, which nobody, was like, what, nobody, two minutes from here? Yeah, it was a two minute walk. And then? Nobody stopped us, asked us for identification, passport, nothing. And we just walked right, right through and suddenly we were on the street. No metal detector or oh. checking our bags. <laughs> just Easy. waltzed right into Mexico. I mind you coming back. They checked our passports and Customs and Border took our picture and asked us where we were going. And, and what we were bringing back. We were bringing and back. we confessed to our vanilla that we brought, we brought a, back. a bottle of vanilla. So you buy a, a bottle of vanilla like that in the grocery store and it's like 30 bucks. Right. Here you can get a gallon for eight dollars. Well, that's more like we got like a pint or a liter for eight dollars. No, I think. the gallon was eight dollars. We bought a quart for about four oh, yeah. and a half dollars. Four dollars and 43 cents. Yeah. That's what it was. Strangely, okay. the American flag's at half mast over there. I don't know why. Yeah, we don't know why. Who, who died recently. Maybe there's something we don't know. Yeah. While we, we were out of the country, something yeah. bad happened. <laughs> well, while we were out of the country. Now listen, I wanted to know about your experience oh, at, at uh, Dr. Rubio. Dr. Rubio, the dentist? Yes. Uh, never saw Dr. Rubio. And maybe can there's... you take your hat off because it's no. awkward shade. No, we can't see hurt, your face. It's going to hurt my brain. All right. Sorry, There's everybody. a lot of other dentists in there. It's a big operation. They picked us up. We, we walked across the street from the border into a pharmacy and said we're here for Dr. Rubio send the car so they called Dr. Rubio they sent a car and drove us which took like it was there in basically five minutes basically you you drove around the block yeah you drove about a block and a half but and, I, and can I say it was nice for the ahead. first time it was nice for the first time that they come and they meet you and pick you up because yeah. of course if it's your first time you know maybe you're feeling a little intimidated and you don't know where to go so they picked us up in in a little van took five minutes from when the guy called and then we drove around the block basically <laughs> so we didn't take the ride when we left dr rubio's but um it was very practical for going all right back to you so i had a consultation in phoenix with another dentist so i had a pretty good idea of what i wanted done but i didn't say anything they took me in and and uh miguel checked my teeth very carefully several times and then they made a diagnosis and it was pretty pretty similar to what I had already heard. Uh, they took a few x-rays and then uh, they said we could I, I need crowns on, on both sides and some cavities on both sides and they said we can do it all we can do all the crowns today like do the grinding and put in the temps and then you come back in a few days Two and days. put in all the all the permanent crowns and I said no I don't want you working on my entire mouth today uh, first of all we got to get back across the border at three in the afternoon and secondly I'm not into that much pain all at once <laughs> so I said just do these ones over here so I got two done and the next tooth uh, had a cavity filled and then they put in the temporaries and they said on Thursday two days from now I can come back and get the permanent crowns put in and then they'll do an impression and make me a night guard and I can have the night guard the same day. It'll take them a couple hours, but Thursday I'll walk out with my, my permanent crowns, my night guard, and I've already got a cavity filled. 
The crowns are $560 each. Cavities are done for $100 each, and the night guard is $150. Right. And all of that is much less than what we would it's have like paid a third. In, in, in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the price checking we had done earlier, I thought the, ca the fillings would have been a lot less, like yeah. $50 to $70. Yeah. Even so, it's still a really good deal. Yeah. Tanya got, uh, got uh, what do they call it? A I, casting done for it for her own night guard right and it'll be ready when when we come back to get my crowns put in yeah so all together we walk on out with two night guards two crowns one filling fifteen hundred twenty dollars right. US and 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 lunch well that was extra yeah. but they also checked to see what else we needed and they took x-rays of your whole mouth and they took an x-ray of the crown I recently had put in because it's hurting me even though it's been two weeks um, and there was no extra charge for the no. checkup, for the x-rays. The whole consultation was Consultation was free. was free. And I saw another specialist because the one tooth was, was pretty sensitive, so I just wanted to make sure they didn't need to do a root canal or something. So another guy checked yeah. the one tooth. And I had two guys too. I had the, the one that specializes in dental apparatus because I had asked for the night guard. And then they sent over the nerve guy to check because I said my new crown tooth was sensitive. <laughs> And they put some cold against it and confirmed that yes, indeed, it's very sensitive. It sure hurt. Yeah. Uh, and they're like, yeah, that's the, the nerves inflamed. Um, so they were thinking I might end up needing a root canal, but I'm going to wait and see and make sure that, um, you know, I give this enough time to calm down from, because I just had the work done two weeks ago in Phoenix. So anyway, yeah, so prices like a third of the what work, we were paying the work in was, Phoenix. The work was pretty professional. Mm -hmm. It was clean. Uh, it was clean. It was a, a professional atmosphere, good equipment. Yep. Uh, people spoke English. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a problem to communicate. Uh, the guy worked fast. I was in no pain at all. And From one shot only. In Phoenix, I was in a lot of pain, <laughs> so I don't know what the difference is, but he used he used Novocaine, the real stuff. One one shot, it was frozen enough to do work on three teeth. Yep. I did not twitch a single time. Yep. As a matter of fact, uh, over lunch, Kevin told me he almost fell asleep in the dentist chair while they're grinding away at his tooth, so I have a hard time imagining that. Oh, it's soothing. Soothing, yeah. And I walked around town. Let me turn this around. I don't know if I'll be in it, but uh, yeah, I walked around town while he was having the preparation done and I'd already been to the dentist earlier and it didn't take so long. She bought some nopales, I which bought, is cactus yeah. with the skin torn off it. You can yeah. cook it, you can eat it, you can put it in salad. Yeah. It's really good for I practiced you. my Spanish on a few innocent yeah. bystanders. She, she did some window <laughs> shopping and walked around town and made a lot of friends. I did. And, uh, you know, look to see what all they have for sale. Of course, uh, we were told when we arrived that there's usually about 8,000 people a day. But because of the pandemic right now, it's only about, what did he say, like 1,000, 1,500 people a day. So needless to say, there's a lot of salespeople for very few tourists. Yeah. So, you know, everybody was trying very hard to get us to buy something. But today we just went for the dental and a little look-see and we came back with the vanilla and I bought a nice embroidered face mask and we're coming back on Thursday. So we might, you know, look around to see what else. But I did have a lovely margarita and you had horchata, horchata and I had chile, chile rellenos, rellenos, but poor Kevin couldn't eat anything. Maybe next time. So that's our report here from the border and our Algodonas dental experience. And that's it for now from Tanya and Kevin and our new, well, you're, no, you don't have the new crowns yet, from our teeth. <laughs> With love. Bye. Bye.